all, it's Gav here from danceplanet.tv and thanks for tuning in. I am really excited, we are less than a week away from the William Hill 2018 World Dance Championships. I am buzzing, I would imagine that many of you dance fans are, especially those of you that have been lucky enough to get tickets this year. I haven't, but I am going to be glued to the telly, as I've said in some of my previous videos. So, it actually kicks off on Thursday, December the 14th from 7pm. There's four first round matches. There isn't a prelim match on day one on the Thursday. There is, however, on the Friday. But I'm going to be covering all the videos um, and the days and doing a video on each day for this anyway. So I'm going to make them a little bit of fun. Rather than just do the schedule, I'm going to put in my prediction. You guys can tell me that I'm miles out. Don't bet on any of them because I'll probably be miles out and you'll be absolutely skin afterwards. It's just a bit of fun and again to get us all chatting and who we think is going to go on to do well or prediction through the day. So, without further ado, the actual event kicks off. You can see I've got it here. It kicks off with Steve Beaton against William O'Connor. Now, I think this is going to be a really, really close match. Steve Beaton obviously has had recent success um, at the Mr. Green Players Championships, getting to the quarterfinals. He was beaten by Johnny Clayton that day. He should have gone through. I'm not saying he played amazing because his averages weren't great. But as we all know, it's not always about averages. You can win games without high averages at times, as James Wade has proved throughout the years. It's about winning the legs at the right time. But I think that he's just going to have the edge on William on this one. And I'm going to go for Steve Beaton to win this one. 3-2. Then we go on to James Wilson versus Christoph. I can't say the surname very well, so you'll have to pick me up on that and you can laugh. It's cool. I'm useless with names at times and pronunciations. So I think that this one is going to be... I think, again, I think it's going to be really, really close. I think that James loses more games than what he should do, especially when he's been on, on TV and different things. I think he's had opportunities to win. I'm not saying he'd bottle it because that's wrong, but what I am saying is there's games that I think he should should get through and he doesn't. So I'm actually going for Christoph to win this one. 3-2. We then go on to MVG against Christian Kiss. I can't see any other winner than this. I want Peter Wright. I'm a massive, massive Peter Wright fan. I want him to win it this year. I know that he's had some illness now, so I'm hoping that he's going to be recovering um, from that. I was actually off to see him tonight because I'm actually going to a dance exhibition in Ipswich tonight. I think Rob Cross is now coming along. MVG is going to be there. I think West is going to be there. So it's a little treat for my brother, so I'm really excited about that. So I'm really looking forward to that tonight. But I don't want to move off this. So MVG, I can't see anybody else winning it other than him. Kist has had so many problems. Feel really sorry for him at the moment. Trying to get his um, you know, arthritis and different things sorted out. So I think that it's, it is an easy draw for MVG and I think that he'll win this one 3-0. We then go on to this match. is probably the one I'm looking most forward to on day one. Gerwin Price against Ted Everts. We know that um, Ted, there's been a lot of speak about him, especially in some of my other videos where you guys have been uh, commenting different things, saying that he's really, really a danger player. He's playing playing really well and capable of beating anybody on the day. I've not seen much of Ted or Super Ted or whatever we want to call him, but obviously Iceman Price is an established player now. I think that Iceman will get through this one. And it's a difficult one for me to call, like I say, because I've not seen Ted. But if I'm going by some of your guys' comments, who I would imagine are fairly spot on, I reckon it is going to be a close game. Um, and I'm going to put Galvin Price to go this one, 3-2. So pretty much, they're my day one predictions for the Alley Pally on Thursday the 14th of December from 7pm. Tune in. Don't miss it. And also, don't forget to leave your comments below, as always. Tell me who your standout matches is for this day. Who do you think is going to win it? Um, what game are you most looking forward to? Um, so that's pretty much it for this video. I will be doing another one for day two. Exactly the same. The schedule, who's on, and my predictions. Hope you enjoyed the video as always. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Bye. Bye.